Hey guys, today we're working on creating a logo for your brand. A logo is great. They're strong. It helps you brand elements of your artwork, your website, uh, your advertising. It helps you make cool shirts and business cards. Logos are cool. They really help you solidify your brand. Um, make one as soon as you can if you don't have one already. And it doesn't cost that much money. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars to build a logo. Now. You have different approaches. You can build your own logo if you know how to. Maybe you make a text logo so your text is big and then your tagline on the bottom. Now, option number two is you can hire a graphic designer. Um, they could be expensive and they're definitely recommended, but maybe in the beginning, as we're trying to low budget this, just go into these sites that have logo generators and you can make one there too. So check this out. You can type in logo, logo maker and you're gonna see all these little uh, logo maker, free instant logo maker. It's all template based, none of it's original. Um, and so, you know, you don't really get the most original idea out of it. But you see, you type in your name and your tagline, and it's going to come up with a whole bunch of different ideas that you can choose from. You can choose your favorite logo. Sometimes it costs a couple bucks, sometimes they're free. And that can be as simple as that. Now, if you really want something more custom, I recommend going to something called freelancer.com. Freelancer is a, is a place where you can post a contest of something you want designed or created, and it's gonna notify all these graphic designers, and you're gonna say, I wanna spend 100 bucks, and they're gonna compete for that $100 by building you a logo and submitting it. Then from there, you can rate it, rate the logo, um, if you like it or not. And then the winning logo wins. So here, let me view the contest. This is a past contest we did for a client of ours called Quality Motors. We weren't really happy with all the logos that came out of it, um, but it's a good way for us to show you kind of how the contest looks. These are all a whole bunch of different kinds of contests that we run for people um, when we need something to bind. Oh, looks like they're not gonna show us the contest because it's locked. That's too bad. I was hoping to show you an example, but whatever. So. The idea is, ah, oh, here we go. Hmm, that's not a very good logo either. Eh, see, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Sometimes you you uh, get great logos, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes, you know, you just miss the mark. Especially, like, this one was $75. It's not like people really wanted to compete for it. But look at we, our Eve's Waterfront restaurant. Everybody submitted their logos. These are all different logos. Towards the end, they start to look alike because they'll start to design them that uh, towards the ones that you like the most because see how I can rate them by stars so people will see the ones you like and start to create more logos that look like that which is a good thing um, but here's all the logos we have two pages of them and uh, we chose our best one and we use that one it's that simple this was the best one we chose it um, and that's it all you have to do is go to start a contest once you build an account add your credit card or PayPal to it the contest title has to be something catchy, so sexy, sleek, um, badass logo. This is just what everybody's gonna see, so you want it to catch their eye so you get more submissions. Skills, they're gonna wanna be a graphic designer. Graphic designer, and maybe even type in logo design, it kinda helps. On here is you're gonna make your brief, so let's say name, name will be algorithm and then our tagline is going to be the anti-agency small caps so that way they know that uh, or I guess it'd be lowercase right that way they know to keep that lowercase and this will actually put uh, uppercase that way they know as well um, then underneath we'll have a brief area and we'll say um, please use reds um, and blacks reds and blacks so they know what kind of colors we like um, we our logo right now is triangles so we like triangles um, and that's pretty much it once you make your brief you can be as detailed as you want the more detailed you are the more logos you're gonna get with that detail the less detail you do you are you're gonna start getting some weird logos out of nowhere you'll start getting a tree you know and a cat and a lion so you want to be a little detailed if you can 
I usually, the larger the budget, you can see at the top here, it tells you how many entries you're gonna get. The larger the budget, the more entries you get. Um, in the past, when I first started this stuff five years ago, $30 got you probably this 80 mark, and then $100 got you like a few hundred. So the cost is going up a little bit. So I'd recommend spending maybe 100 bucks around to get an okay amount. The more money you spend, the more quality you'll get and the more designs you'll get. Urgent, nah. Guaranteed, I recommend clicking on that one. Most people do not enter a contest. All guaranteed means is that you guarantee someone's gonna get the money, so that way they don't work for free. Um, so most designers, good designers, will not even enter a contest unless it's guaranteed, so you will get more submissions if you have guaranteed. All these are optional to get more submissions. Uh, and then you press get enter now, the project posts, once it posts, you're gonna get notified when you get submissions. Um, then from there you can re rate them and then you can give feedback saying, oh, I like this, but can you change the color? Or can you do this or that? And then everybody sees the feedback and they all start to compete for that logo. That's really a good way to get the logos. Um, 99designs is another place that does it. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, a little bit more high end. If uh, you budget's not a huge deal to you, check out 99designs. You can also go to Fiverr and get logos on Fiverr for $5, but you don't get revisions, you don't get a whole bunch of options. You kind of get their template of what they've already made. Um, but those are all options. I'll show you really quick Fiverr. And all you have to do is type in logo. Oh, they want me to log in. So instead of logging in, I'll just show you the logos. So here you can see this guy has 580 reviews. I'll make you a watercolor logo. There you go. Or he'll make you a realistic looking logo or a cool logo. So you can find logo stuff in here. Okay. Then when you want to animate your logo, all you have to do is just cool logo animation. They'll take the logo you've made and make a really cool video um, of the logo. So like for example, Here's an example of what it looks like, I guess. There's hundreds of different logo animations you can you can have made, um, and I definitely recommend checking it out. So they'll plug your logo in and make it look like that. We currently have all our logos animated for videos, um, so you've probably seen them if you uh, are on this course. But yep, that's pretty simple. That's a very easy way to use and get logos. All right, hopefully you have a better knowledge and you can go out there today to make your first logo. Enjoy.